Hello and welcome to our Tuesday. I've been playing with toys this morning. That's a new mic. Well, it's not new. Actually, it's an old mic, but I've never tried it with the new camera before. And now I am and I've test driven it. And I'm very happy with it indeed. I might even insert the initial test clip here because Izzy did something a bit unexpected. This is just me testing this mic to see how it's going. I'll tell you what, can you do a continuous barrage of talking noise? I went to the supermarket and I saw a Miss Chenand Bong. She was going to get a pineapple, but it was mouldy. So she complained to the staff and then they said, um, excuse me, you have no right to complain because it says on the label, maybe mouldy can't sue. All right, you can stop now. This setup is getting ridiculous now. I've now got four things to switch on and off every time I do a shot, which is just not what I wanted but I got so sick of the audio, sorting the audio out in editing. It's become one of those time consuming things that's eaten up my evening. So, right, let's just go for the external mic. But look at this. Right, hopefully now I can talk from behind the camera and it doesn't go all phasey and weird and jump from ear to ear in people's headphones, which is what's been happening. Look, right, I'll turn my light off so you can see, whoops. Here we are. So I've got a wireless receiver here. I've got a vlogging light and I've got another doodah by here, <laughs> which is the mic, which I could try and conceal somehow, but I'm not used to it yet. So anyway, right, that's it. I'm going to put this in my laptop and try it out. Bye. I'm going to turn four things off now. No, three, because that's already off. But right now it's about 10 to 2 and we're both starving so I'm gonna cook some lunch. I've unfortunately got quite a bit of mess to deal with as you can see uh, but what I'm gonna do is I've just realized I've got some pancake batter left. I only had one pancake out of that whole lot and I put it straight in the fridge in these bottles and forgot about them but I think they'll be all right as long as I cook them today. So I'm gonna do a lovely jollopy thing with tofu, aubergines, tomatoes, courgettes, celery and tin tomatoes but I'm also going to do on the side savoury pancakes to have with it and I know that sounds a bit unconventional but I just am unconventional so that's okay. I'm going to get the aubergine stuff cooking in this pan and then while that's cooking I will wash up and hopefully by the time I've washed up this will be ready so I'll just be able to just leave it to simmer on the back burner and make the pancakes and hopefully grate some cheese. I've put quite a bit of oil in there, in that pan there. And right now I'm just popping some aubergine into it. Lovely bit of courgette going in. Getting through my vegetables fast this week. I still haven't done that online shop for this week, but I think I'm going to go with Iceland for this week, just for a change. Maybe we'll eat lots of frozen things and make plenty of room in the freezer. I don't know what I'm doing with this chopping. I don't seem to have fixed methods for things. I seem to invent everything anew every time, including how I chop things, which is ridiculous. I don't know why I do this. I've just accidentally flicked a bit of mushroom in my coffee. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> yeah, mushy, mushy. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has this that eats tofu, because I know not everybody does, but it really reminds me when I cut into it, it reminds me of the water's breaking. You know, when a lady's gonna give birth, right? Well, there we are. <laughs> it's a bit kind of James Herriot, you know, when the calf is on its way. To remember to eat it all before it goes off that's the thing with tofu i find the danger i tend to wrap it up and then i forget what it is i wish you could smell this now it smells absolutely beautiful i'm going to add a couple of tins of tomatoes to that and just leave it to cook itself while i do the washing up this is what i have seasoned it with some soy sauce some dried basil veggie oxo cube Italian seasoning and I've used that up so I've added some stuff to the shopping list on my phone on my Notion app so that will be syncing with my laptop so that's great. Bit of garlic and I peeled it this time because the other day I didn't and it just all got jammed in there and I've also 
uh, use some ginger, which also has gone on my shopping list because that's all I've got left. And now I'm going to just wash up quickly while that is doing. Found this. Oh, yay. I'm listening to some Portuguese telly. IB has donated or lent me, I maybe given me these headphones. They are wireless and they're revolutionizing my Portuguese listening whilst washing up because I can hear it at constant volume even when I've got the taps running. Mm. Why is it I always bury the dishcloth and brush right at the bottom of the washing up every time? Why? Is it just me? And then I have to rummage around looking for it. Hello. Ouch, the water's a bit hot. See that? There's that bit. Quite often I just cheat and get a fresh one out. <laughs> Sorted. There we are, that's all done. And this is smelling beautiful. I'm gonna transfer it to the back ring and do some savory pancakes. And we'll just have them on the side. It'll be like, I don't know, Indian chapatis or something. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tomato stuff in the bowls and then the pancakes are rolled up on the side like that so that it's not like all mixed up, but then you could break bits off and dip it in. I've just had a little brainwave. I've got some sliced gouda in the fridge, so I've decided I'm gonna roll a couple of slices up with my pancakes. So it's like a cheesy pancake. But I know Izzy really won't like that, so I won't do that for hers. But I'm gonna get some ham with the next online shop, so I could roll up ham in a pancake and make it into a big roll for Izzy. I think that would go down well. I've accidentally done pancake art. Look at that, it looks like... That reminds me of the early primitive earth that does. I don't know, like a, a blown up version of some microscopic early sea dwelling creature. You can actually do pancake art, can't you? If you get batter and you put them in different things with different colourings, food colouring, and then you can dribble them all around the pan and make lovely pictures out of them and then they kind of merge together. I've never tried it. And there's Izzy served up. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I reckon that's going to be nice. There we are, all set for two, just like a little cafe. I'm giving it a go and it is really good, really good. I can highly recommend cheese rolled up in a pancake dipped in tomato -y jollop. It's very delicious. Mmm. 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 Isabel is quiet. She's just sitting here. Izzy has just informed me that I'm overdue for a massive makeover. I did not put it like that. I said, amp up for your look. I think this is a stage of life thing, right? You see, before you have kids, you've got time to preoccupy yourself with your look. Getting everything just so. And then you have kids and then you're very, very busy loving them, taking care of all their needs 24 seven. You just can't spend the time thinking about cultivating that look anymore. So you settle for mediocrity. That is what I have done anyway. But now like I'm at the age where you don't really spend the majority of your day caring for me. No, I don't so have to. So you have time now and it might make you feel more confident in yourself. Are you gonna be on camera yet? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Um, speaking of look, I need to trim my bangs. They're so long. We could do getting both of us in shot, couldn't we? Why don't we both just go go like this? <laughs> act like this is how we normally eat. Yeah. <laughs> I finished mine. Isabel's been a bit slower. Izzy and I have now been discussing what is better, hipsters or high-waisted yeah. trousers. I'm a hipsters girl. I like flary jean bottoms with hipsters, and Isabel is the opposite. See, I like the look of the flared jeans, but I, I like it to be high-waisted, personally. She gets her fashion sense from Patrick Moore. I mean, he was a dude, he was a dude, so it's not the worst thing. No, I don't like it to be that high. I like it to be like a normal height. <laughs>
It's about 20 to 8 in the evening now. I've just done an hour of practice. Before that, I spent quite a lot of time fiddling around with my editing software, just trying to learn new things, watching tutorials, that kind of thing. So that was most of my afternoon, to be honest, but it's all progress, so I'm quite pleased that I did it. I've just put the oven on for our dinner. I won't go on, because I did quite a lot about cooking earlier, but we're going to have these defrosted salmon steaks for tea with some oven chips and maybe some cauliflower or something like that. Whatever I can find in my fridge that's suitable for just boiling in a pan, basically. I think there's some green beans. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story here in the Wales Level 4 lockdown, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.